Hello, my name is Brett Ackerman. I'm the CEO of the Boys and Girls Club here in Fullerton. We've been operating in Fullerton since 1952, so later this year in November we'll be celebrating our 70th year as an organization. The mission of the Boys and Girls Club is to help all youth, especially those that need us most, to become productive, caring, and responsible citizens. Simply put, the Boys and Girls Club is a youth mentorship program that focuses on three basic areas. The first being academic success, the second being character and leadership, and the third being healthy lifestyles. Within each of those buckets, we have focused and pointed programs to help and engage and grow these children from ages 5 to 18. The Boys and Girls Club has four locations in Fullerton, serving kids ages 5 through 18. We have two locations that are set on Title I school sites. We have a standalone teen center, and we have a traditional club site right, right across the street from the police station. Here in Fullerton, currently we're serving about 400 members. Average daily attendance across all of four sites is roughly 175 kids per day which is a little bit down post-pandemic. Uh, the majority of the children that we're serving here in Fullerton are on a free and reduced lunch program. And after the pandemic has hit, there is more need in this community for scholarshiping these kids to the club than I've seen in the last 10 years. So coming out of the pandemic, one of the biggest needs that we've seen from our kids is academic support. So in our academic success programming, we offer power hour, which is one hour every day that the kids are mandated to do their homework, read a book, study, catch up, tutor, whatever they need to put themselves in the best position. Some of our children, unfortunately, have fallen even further behind. So we have implemented an early literacy program for kids first through fourth grade. When we look at our character and leadership programs that we have at the club here, there's two different buckets. You have the young kids and the teenagers. The younger children are in the LIT program, which is leaders in training. The teenagers are in a program called Keystone, which is teaching them how to organize and operate as a chartered club member. Our last bucket is healthy lifestyles, which our children at the teen center are experiencing that through our farm to table program, where they're actually growing fruits and vegetables in the farm and preparing them in the kitchen. And our younger folks are doing triple play, which is covering mind, body, and soul. So it's exercise, eating right, and expressing your emotions. Another big issue that we've seen post-pandemic is mental health issues with our children. So we have implemented a partnership with the Boys and Girls Club of Garden Grove, and we will be having mental health interns in the club five days a week to help the children or family when needed. As we return to normal from the pandemic, one thing that's really standing out amongst the kids is their lack of reading ability. So if there was one thing that we could focus all of our efforts as a club, as a community, as just concerned citizens that care for the kids, is focusing on early literacy for our children. We are trying to expand from one site to all four sites, but we can't do that without your help. So when you look at the funding sources of the Boys and Girls Club, we have about 10 to 15% coming from state and federal grants. We have about 20% coming from the school district contracts. Pre-pandemic, we had about 35% coming from program income, which we have lost due to the pandemic. And the rest of it is coming from generous foundations and individual supporters like yourselves. So I started my career in finance and was on the board of directors for the Fullerton Boys and Girls Club for about 10 years prior to becoming a staff. And there's a big difference between being on the board and working for the organization. The thing that gets me out of bed in the morning is truly making a difference in the community. When I was in the finance world, I was making a difference for someone's stock price. Now I'm making a difference for someone's child. The team that we have here at the Boys and Girls Club is highly dedicated to educating and promoting these kids as best we can. The difference between the Boys and Girls Club and every other after school program is that a lot of the kids that come here truly think of us and the staff 
as their second family, their home away from home. Sometimes they're safer here at the club than they are at home. Some of these children are getting their single meal from school and then their single meal from the club. One of our biggest struggles currently is staffing. We have a 160 children signed up for our summer program, but we have another 40 kids on the wait list because we couldn't hire the staff in place to take on these extra 40 kids. So it's really important for the community to understand that the club is in need of any resource they can get, whether it be a volunteer, a board member, your financial resource support, or anyone you know that's looking for a job, turn them to the Boys and Girls Club. I could talk to you all day about the Boys and Girls Club, but if you really want more information, please visit our website or give me a call and I'll give you your own personal tour of the club. They've said in the past, the children are our future, and I think now is the time to really make that point and invest in our children for their future.